Hey YouTube, this is World Class FF. I figured I'd do something different today. I do play Yu-Gi-Oh a lot, off and on. I just started getting back into it again. I like to show you guys my Chaos Dragon deck. And yeah, I did have some Link monsters to it, but I haven't got a chance to try it out yet. My day job being so busy and whatnot, kind of hard. So, anyways. I'll start with the monsters first. First one up the list is this guy. Draconic Knight. He's pretty cool. If one of your monsters die for whatever effect reason at all, this guy will spell some from your hand to the field. Which is pretty cool. Here we go. Um Lila from Light Swarms. I'm pretty sure most of you know what she does. But just in case, it basically just targets one spell trap card in front of the side of the field. Change it to defense, and bam. It's gone. Boom. Well, I use two plague spreaders. The reason why I can just like sink or summon twice in one turn. Via a link monster, anyways, with the new rules. But it's pretty cool. You might be banished, but it's still a good start for a cast deck. Then I got the Black Dragon Caliss Serpent. I might have pronounced that wrong, but I remember two of these. Baby cast dragons, as people call them. Then I got two Light Personal Dragons, which is, these cards are like freaking awesome. I love when they first came out with these. I had these for like, I don't know how many years. Let's be bring like any of my dark dragon type monsters, six stars or higher, back to the field, which is amazing. Move on. Then we have two Luminums. Um, yeah, Luminum. No, I can you pronounce that? Maybe. I don't know, sure. But, anyways, there's a, light, there's a monster for Life Swarm. Can't beat that. Of course, G Raiden. Everybody knows what this card does. For those you don't, it's just a light tuner. You build two cards, get uh, attack bonus, build two more cards at the end of the turn. Great getting stuff in your graveyard to banish to Swiss design monsters, which is amazing. Then we got the white dragon white breaster. The white version of the baby chaos dragons. Then we have two Shadal dragons. I know they're spellcasters, but their effects are pretty sweet. Uh, flip, they get flipped or destroyed, you can target a card in the field, you have a card about their hand, destroy that target. It's a win-win, regardless how you do it. Um, now this guy here, um, Tergodia, I think I pronounced that. Put some of this card in your hand to stop attack, or to have a super power card, depending on how many cards you have in your hand. 500 attack power per card, I think, no, 600 attack defense per card in your hand, which is pretty sweet. They got two ores. They're like a double blade, display, depending on what you have on the field. Since you're going to spend some of these cards with nothing on the field. Which kind of stinks, but eh, it works. One called Trooper. Yeah, I only play one. Um, I think two of them are kind of burden my deck, based on how I run it. It's not like a conditional format deck, so. But it works. They got Urn. From Light Swarms. Destroy defense based on cards, which is pretty cool. One Chaos Soldier. Yeah, I know you can run two or three in that deck, but I prefer this one. It works. I have two um, Heretic Dragon cards. Like Sire Dragons, but they have six stars, which helps a lot with uh, Synchro Summons. And it will list. One black lesser shoulder of the yeah enemy at the beginning. Sorry, key getting mixed up between Twilight and this one. Then I Galaxy Ally Bird Man, which is amazing. Bash a card from your field back to your hand. Special some summon this card, synchro summon. Done. Um the two of these guys. I think you might say this uh Gito. I'm not sure. It's been a while. But 
Anyways, if you guys know the answer to the better than I can, leave it in the comments. Thank you. So of course, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. One of my favorite cards of the game. I mean, great for any dragon deck. So the light reflection. I think my screen might be a little bright. Um, but the last monster is Dark Home Dragon, which is amazing. Three dark monsters in your grace, especially some of this card. I was supposed to be using Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Or well, Light Push of Dragon, whichever one you want to use. Banish cards based on how many dark monsters you have in your graveyard. Then, last but not least, two Ghost Rabbit, Ghost Ogre Rabbits. Go for almost anything. That's it for the monsters. I think I forgot how many I have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 monsters. I know some people might run 25, I do 30. Just how I do things. As for the spells, I have one day piece. Makes it kind of weird, but it helps. Galaxy Cyclone. I think it looks cool, and the effects are pretty cool too. Regeki, of course. Soul Charge. Twin Twister. Two Charged Light Brigades. And one Allure of Darkness. Ranger Tower Spells, two. Eight spells. Now for the traps. Oh, yep, four traps. I think I had five that I don't remember anymore. Might be a few of my other decks that I've been swapping back and forth. So this money. Makes me happy. I forget which deck is which, but you get the idea. And my first trap on the list is Bottomless Trap Hole. That just flies out of my hand. Next is Solomon Warning. I don't have enough money for Solomon Strike, but eventually I'll get one. Breaking Mill Force, which is an amazing card. I think I have two of these in this deck, but I think the other one might be in another deck of mine. And an Anti Spell Fragments, which is an amazing card. I'm not sure how good it is nowadays, but it's still good regardless. Brings our tour deck number to 42. Which I originally had at 45, but I kind of swap cards a lot, so I'm not sure why I left them at. Um, for the extra deck, I got number 101 on a rock, which is a great card to have. So you find a special monster for your own. Two deco, uh, deco talkers, just for link summon monsters. I'm not sure what good link summon monsters are for this deck, because I just now you know, getting used to uh, playing them again. But I'll figure it out, or why friends who play this are religiously will have to teach me. Hopefully. Um, next on the list is Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. I think that's right, is it? Yeah. Just got this card a couple days ago. Finally. But, I can't wait to try it out. Kind of reminds me of uh, Starlight Dragon, but better. I think, anyways. Next one, Trisla. I know it might seem odd in this star deck, but I can't summon it. This is difficult. I just like the card because it's a dragon. It matches the deck thing. Now my favorite synchro monster of all time is Beals. I don't know why, but I just love how the artwork is and I love his effect. Next is Michael. Um the Arch Light Swarm. He's a great card, easy to get out, easy to use. Pay a thousand life points, ban the card on the field. More I can ask for. Next one is Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. Which is amazing too. Five or six star effect monsters. Get protected. You get effects. Amazing. Starless Dragon. One of the original cards, which I used been used for like I don't know if it's ten years. I think it's like eight years this card's been out. I could be wrong. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys think so think differently. Then you got Starlight Red Dragon Archfiend. I just love the artwork. I love how the effect works. If I only get one special summon monster on the field when I use it. And wipe the board with the rest of them. Which is pretty cool. 
Then I got Hot Red Dragon Ultra Fiend. Again, the effect's amazing. But this is the only one on the field. Then for my XYZ monster, it says 101. It is Queen Dragon Den or Jin. Amazing card. Um, this one material, but some any monster from your graveyard back to the field. Then Dark Bell and Dragon, just because. Guy of the Dra Gu Guy of the Thunder Charger, which is pretty cool. Piercing damage effect. And number thirty-nine, Utopia Beyond. All monsters zero attack power. Can't beat that. That's it for my Chaos Dragon deck. Um, later on, I'll do a video about my six Samurai deck. Fables. Um, I do have a goat deck for Rift, which is a ritual deck, which I'll present that later too. Um, I think I have a half, I have like a 75% complete Claudian deck that I'll be working on. Also, I have a deck I call Bullshit, which is hilarious, and it did me very well in some regionals. It got more like 7 out of 10 matches with it. Each, and blew people's minds. Uh, what it, works, it doesn't work that well now because things are more faster summon now. The link and everything included. But I'll give it a try, see what happens. And that, I think that's all my Yu Gi Oh decks I'll be presenting here. I do have one magic deck, which I'll be doing a later video on probably next week. Probably same time next week, maybe. And hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is Wolfgang Effort signing off. I hope you guys have a good night. Peace.